My name is Mark Maurer, and today it's May 28th, 2014. So unlike most people, I was homeschooled until 10th grade, where I went to public school for three years. So I just want to share with you my experience as a homeschooler from the inside and um, dismiss any stereotypes you may have against homeschoolers. So to begin, I just want to talk about what exactly homeschooling is. Um, homeschooling, you do have curriculum, you have tests, you have standardized tests at the end of the year, you do have to pass. So it's not like it's unregulated, you really actually have to do work. Uh, part of the reason people choose homeschooling is because it's very learner-oriented. You, um, you don't look at a set of classes and choose which ones you want to take. You can choose to do a lot of math classes or a lot of history classes, as long as you get it all done. So you can focus, if you're interested in anatomy, at the age of 10, but you don't want to wait till college to actually study anatomy, you can start learning about anatomy. So it's a really cool part of it. It's also very efficient compared to a public school because if you have mastery over material, you can move on very quickly. Um, whereas if you're in a traditional education setting, you'd have to wait for the whole class to master material and take a test before you can move on to another concept when you may have known it two weeks ago. Um, so parents usually choose to homeschool their kids so they can control their environment if they're around. It's kind of like going to a Christian school or something like that. Um, and that's a wrong reason in my opinion. That's not what my parents chose it for. Uh, we were allowed to pretty much be exposed to whatever we wanted as long as it was age appropriate. Um, but that's pretty much what, what homeschooling is. So. You're probably wondering like, how I made any friends if I was homeschooled, because I probably never left my house, but I did. Uh, homeschoolers, they organize groups um, and do co-ops, like I was part of one called uh, Legacy and Classical Conditioning, and basically a mother in the group would be certified to teach a certain course, like my mother was certified to teach um, Latin, English, and art, so she would teach, and she could actually get paid too. So we'd meet uh, two or three times a week, at, often at churches or wherever we could rent out some space. Um, so yeah, we, we were able to get plenty of social interactions that way. But other than that, I played uh, soccer for eight years, and several of the kids that went that I played soccer with actually went to high school where I was going to go. So by the time I got to high school in 10th grade, I already had several friends to uh, help me get started. So. Even though I wasn't like socially awkward at the age of 15 or whatever, uh, nothing can really compare, prepare you for going to a high school with 3,500 kids and just be overwhelmed with that experience the first day. So the first uh, month or so was kind of like a growing experience of figuring out exactly like uh, the social cliques and stuff like that. Um, but after a while, you started to fall into a social circle that uh, is most similar to you. Like I was in honors and AP classes, so most of the people in there were pretty similar to me already, kind of like the preppy type. Um, so yeah, uh, a good reason to go to a public high school is graduating from public high school makes it a lot easier to get into uh, a university or college than if you were to be homeschooled all the way through high school. Um, so it's uh, one benefit of doing it. And uh, so yeah, I hope you all found this pretty interesting and learned something about uh, homeschooling. I know there's some stereotypes against homeschoolers being sheltered or super religious or awkward or weird or whatever, but um, there's a huge variety of homeschoolers out there, their goals. There's even this thing called um, unschooling where you don't really follow curriculum, you just kind of let your kid find what they're interested in and let them pursue that until a certain age where they actually have to get an education. So, um, so yeah, looking back, I'm grateful that I was homeschooled for the time that I was, but I'm also just as grateful that I was able to go to high school to prepare me for college. So, thanks.